Hello and welcome back to Ebbs Worth Street. As you can see, it's a different view again. So a friend of mine, James, he belongs to the Wimborne District and Society and Model Railway Engineering uh, down here. Uh, and as you can see, just behind me, there's some sit-on trains. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go and have a little play um, up and around the line and hopefully get to drive a couple of trains. So come and join me, let's go. You got the brakes on?
does take longer with a plunger then? Does it get the most wear?
So here is the signal box, um, little lever frame down here. A view out towards the station, and then towards out onto the track. So the signal box is just down here. Um, so where we pick passengers up is here. So you come out, round, cross, over, and you go out on the outer line, all the way around, through the tunnel, which is here. And then you've got the little goods loop, which is just behind the signal box, back round, and then you come into the middle loop, which then you come round, back on into the middle loop here, back past the signal box, which then allows you then to come back into the inner loop which then you then bring the passengers around and they're like here and then once the station is clear you move up and you come back here and collect your other passengers fantastic little railway i've had a fantastic day um, now let's go back to some more running clips outside So that's it for the outing for this week. Um, now I just want to say a huge thank you for James for allowing me to come down and have a little play. Uh, I hope you enjoyed some of the clips. So now what I'm going to be doing is going back and showing you more things that I need to do with Gordon's Lane.
Hill. Uh, the Bexhill Model Railway Club have put on a show and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually exhibiting. Uh, again I have got Cedar Court Wagon Yard uh, which some of you may have seen when I first started uh, Instagram uh, with Ebsworth Street. Um, so fingers crossed hopefully I'll be able to show you some videos of what it looks like now. So I'm going to have a little walk around the show and hope you can enjoy it.
I had a little mini holiday, um, a little break from uh, doing some model railway stuff. So I travelled on one of the GBRF tours, this is personal, on day one, uh, from London Victoria to uh, London Euston by Hardwich International. So I'll put a couple of photos up that I've taken, didn't really get that much because obviously I was enjoying the day with some friends. Uh, so I took the opportunity as go back into Euston, I decided to get on the Caledonian Sleeper, which you'll be able to see here. Um, and then what I've done is I've come up all the way up to Edinburgh, then travelled over to Glasgow, uh, and obviously today I have gone to the Riverside Museum, which is in Glasgow. It's free, uh, and as you can see, there's quite a few displays behind me. Um, so I'm just going to have a little look round, uh, and then maybe get some photos and some videos up so you can actually see what it's like. Uh, it's a fantastic day out, and it's free. So why don't you come down uh, next time you're in Glasgow, have a look. Um, there's something for everybody in here, which is uh, pretty nice. So I'll stop talking now and I'll let you see some of the videos and some of the photos that I've taken today.
enjoyed some of the clips from the Riverside Museum and also something different the clockwork orange uh, now I'm just about to get on to the Caledonian sleeper uh, for the night the, going back from Edinburgh to London Euston um, and here is my coach so I'm gonna sign out from this video thank you very much for watching remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you on the next video Bye -bye.